Good morning and welcome to Breakfast with Nutrimeal. So today I thought I would show you instead of like another recipe of a shake, I'm gonna explain to you how to make a shake that is gonna be filling, won't spike your blood sugars, and get you like maybe hungry in the next couple of hours. I know some people, they do get hungry right away after a shake or a smoothie and they don't understand why. Um, for me, like if I go to a smoothie bar, there's a lot of times I get a major gut ache and it's because there's so much fruit in the shake itself. And that's where a lot of people mess up. They put so much fruit or sugar into their shake that that's why they are hungry within an hour or two and they're craving maybe more sugar. Or if you're like me and you struggle to digest um, fruit, like fructose, and it's mixed into a shake, you're gonna get a gut ache sometimes. So I'm gonna show you how to make a shake that's gonna be super filling and where people go wrong with it. So you wanna make sure you have a good clean liquid. So I usually use filtered water or I'll use an unsweetened nut milk. So today I'm using half and half. Then you always wanna make sure that you're adding fiber to your shakes. So for me, I'm always adding greens. It's just the easiest thing for me. So I'm adding a little bit of frozen greens. Remember, I just keep a bag in my freezer. They act like little ice chips. And then again, you can buy a humongous bag like that and freeze it and it will last for a long time. I always like to add an extra fiber supplement. So this is why I always like to use USANA's Fiber G because it's gonna add extra fiber to my shake. This is not only gonna keep you fuller for longer, but this is gonna help you have a bowel movement. If you struggle with bowel movements, this is something that will help. But you gotta remember, when you're ingesting more fiber, you wanna be drinking more water so you don't become constipated. Another thing a lot of people miss out on is protein. Sometimes they're just adding, you know, some yogurt, which can be full of sugar, you know, their fruit, their liquid, and they might not be getting enough protein. Protein is another thing that's gonna keep you fuller for longer. So I'm just gonna add, oh, I can add on all of that because I'm right at the bottom of my bag. So pick whatever protein works for you. I like to pick a complete meal replacement most of the time. That's why I choose USANA. This is a gluten-free, dairy-free one, and that's why I love it, and it's flavorless. So you can add whatever flavor you want to it so you don't get fatigue from you know having the same flavor over and over. When, if you're feeling like you're getting hungry, you know, two, three hours later, make sure you are getting enough fiber and protein. And if you're, always make sure you're adding in fat. So I always like to add in a couple chunks of avocado. I keep some frozen. And again, this is gonna help you stay satiated and not crave sugar later. And then just because I want to today, I'm gonna add in a couple more tablespoons of hemp hearts. It's just some good added protein as well. And there we have it. Now, because this is flavorless and I want a bit of flavor, and of course, anyone who knows me, I love chocolate. So I'm always adding some unsweetened cocoa powder or cacao powder, whatever one that you like. Cacao powder is not as processed, so it's gonna have a bit more nutrients, and uh, cocoa powder is more processed, but you can buy an unsweetened one and still be okay. So that is how you make a good smoothie. If you do like fruit, I would recommend no more than a quarter cup of fruit because you don't wanna spike your sugar levels. Keep in mind, if you're eating a ton of fruit and you're getting a gut ache, it could be because you're not digesting the sugars from the fruit properly. And if you do have a weak digestive system, fruit digests so much quicker than everything else. So the sugars could be fermenting in your gut, causing gas and bloating. And so that's why a lot of people don't do well with smoothies because they don't realize that it's sometimes like the the amount of fruit they're putting in. So for example, I'm gonna use my aunt for an example. She has been drinking smoothies for years and she always said like that she would be hungry after a while and I kept telling her that she was making them wrong. And it wasn't until she had a health challenge that she finally listened to me to make them a bit different because she was putting at least a half a cup if not more, of berries into her smoothies. And yes, berries are low glycemic, but at the same time, it was just way too much. Now she has eliminated all fruit from her smoothies. She doesn't feel bloated or gassy. She's feeling fuller longer. She's lost weight because of it. 
So just because it's a smoothie and you think it's healthy and you're gonna lose weight, not necessarily if you have the wrong ingredients in it. So again, let's just go over it. Make sure you have some protein, a good quality protein. Again, I use USANA. Um, make sure you have some fiber. So I use a supplement fiber as well, adding some greens. Make sure you have fat, like a healthy fat. So I have a little bit of unsweetened almond milk today as well as a bit of avocado. And you're gonna have a really good smoothie that's gonna keep you fuller, longer, not crave anything, and then you should see a difference if you're looking to lose some weight. Any questions, comment below. Please share this with anyone that it resonates with. And I hope you have a fabulous day.